Here we are, we're at Lorella Springs. It's out the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Heard of Water Buffalo, eh? How awesome. Join us this week as we explore Lorella Springs Wilderness Park. If you're liking the episodes, hit that subscribe button and join us on our weekly adventures. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> uh, here we are, we're at Lorella Springs turn off and uh, we've heard mixed reports about this joint, haven't we, Dale? Yeah. Some people are saying, oh, the road's terrible, it's not worth a drive in. Other people say it's great, so we're going to go and see what it's all about. Um, yeah. It's not going to stop us, we're going to go. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Woohoo! You're one of the best gate openers around, I reckon. Thank you, darling. The road's pretty good. The what? The road's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know what everyone's talking about. No, it's very good. <laughs> Woo -hoo. My legs, I can't see anything. That's why you have your lights on, so you can see people in the dust. <laughs> Take wood off the property, which you don't get to do much, so that's worth noting if you need firewood. All right, so we have checked in and um, we're coming down to the campground and you've got to go over a bit of water. It's not very deep at all. This is a shower, flushing toilet, and this is how you have hot showers. You've got to put wood in there, let it heat up, and then you can have a hot shower. How cool is that? Yeah, the old donkey setup. <laughs> it's a cool experience, eh? Hey? Yeah, find a spot, eh? Yep. All right, so we're all set up. Um, there's heaps of room to choose from. And we're actually staying on the homestead. You can go out to other little camps, hey Nick? Yeah, probably a million acres and you can camp pretty well anywhere on it. But um, we tried to stay at the homestead because it's got a bit of amenities and a hot spring. And we're just gonna leave the caravan here and adventure out doing day trips and stuff like that. So we don't have to punish the van any more than we have. So today, I'm not sure, because we've only only got half a day, we might head south and do a bit down here. Yeah, so. they give you a mud map of where everything is. Yeah. Um, there's a few things closed, isn't there? Yeah, so I might do them. And at the moment, we're sort of in the middle of the dry season, so there's all the rainwater fed creeks and all that sort of thing, and um, waterfalls, they're all dry, so it's only the spring fed ones that are running at the moment, so we've got to go and try and find them. Lorella Springs is a one million acre property, so we wasted no time in starting to explore. First up was a cattle yard hot springs. Yeah. Can you get your swimmers on? Yes. Whoa. Oh god, ow. It is wow, it's hot. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> This was by far the hottest spring on the property. It was at least 38 degrees. Should we go to the next one? No. No, you like this one. <laughs> Any trying to get back in. <laughs> he said, oh no, it's cold out here. We moved back out onto the tracks and headed towards Nudie Springs. All right, when you explore these tracks, do not be the passenger because you have to be the gate opener and there's a lot of gates. This is my 10th one for today. I'm driving on the way back. Oh big boy, you gonna get nudie? Yeah, there's so many nude people down there. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Not many people at all. Why don't you go nude? Oh, I don't know. Tell there's them what a, a few, real man looks like. A few older ladies down there. <laughs> I just, they won't be able to help themselves now. <laughs> Well, let's have some lunch and then um, we'll get your big rig out, eh? Uh, you'll feed me up. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at your muscles. So that's because you ate all your veggies on it. He's still in size one pants because oh. that's he's um got a little piney. <laughs> oh, this is the hot spring. Do you wanna go and feel it? This is Nudie Hot Springs, our second most favourite at Lorella. It is spring fed, meaning it has water all year round, and we had it all to ourselves. <laughs> Finny, you loving it? <laughs> Show them how you can swim, Lennox. Go! Go! <laughs> we headed off to our next destination on yet another little track to a lookout called Jump Up Valley. Drop your vehicle into low range and crawl up the mountaintop. Woohoo, what a view. Putting everything back into perspective. Wow, this place is so cool. Like you can see everywhere. It just really puts into perspective like where you are, which is out the middle of nowhere. Alanya's driving. Always happens. She's trying to be funny again. Oh, look at her. <laughs> oh, look, she can't live without me. She's backing it up. <laughs> it's a good looking behind. <laughs> oh. You are a wally. Every, uh, every time Alanya gets in the driver's seat, Maxie sort of shouts at me and says, Do you really want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Maxie's a longer. Oh, yeah. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, then he's a rally. She thinks she's a rally driver. Yeah, look at Maxie go. <laughs> Alenia was fulfilling her rally car fantasy on the way back to home base, and we nearly missed these guys. A buffalo. I want to eat a buffalo. They're called a water butter buffalo, Lenny. Yeah, we got we got this like a school oh, herd of water buffalo. A eh? they're interested. They keep like coming into it and then away from it, and then one will spook off and then they all start running. That's cool. I've never seen it. So back at camp, the boys are playing with some toys. Alanya is cooking some jack of potatoes on the campfire. And. Nick's having a bit of a cry because he doesn't like jacket potatoes. I'm not the biggest lover of jacket potatoes and Elena at the moment loves them. I'm craving them, so that's what we're having. She always gets what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the campsite. I don't know if we showed you before, did we? Yeah, I did. Oh, Lenny's already showed you, so I won't show you again. But, um, it's going to sit back, have a beer. And uh, Lenny's ha having a lemonade and uh, sit in front of the fire and then do it all again tomorrow, I think. You reckon? Yep, we'll go see some new places. Today has been awesome. I love this sort of thing. It's really good. Love it. So we'll see. Um, we don't really know where we're going yet. I think it might be Nanny's retreat or something. We've heard that's pretty good. So we'll go yeah, and check that out. Yeah, we're going to go check out Nanny. <laughs> good old Nanny. <laughs> Our um, youngest boy, Finny, if you don't know him already, he's just he can just eat and eat and eat. And he's been doing this lately. <laughs> oh, he's up now. Seen a drink. But he was sitting in his chair. He pulls, he pulls it out. <laughs> he pulls it out and when he's hungry, he sits in it and demands to be feeded. Oh, fed, not feeded, no. Oh. Go and get your tray. You pick your tray up and sit down, eh? Ready for tea. <laughs> get ready. It's in a couple of hours, but you'll be ready for it. That's Good the ticket. Good boy. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Go on, sit down. <laughs> You want yeah, some num nums, Kenny? Yeah. You sit down. Go on, sit down. <laughs> Look, he thinks he's getting fed. <laughs> You're pretty mean, eh? You're encouraging it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I think it's funny. Look at look at fat boy. <laughs> oh, where's the food, Finny? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny cracks me up. What do you reckon? Yeah? 
Finney's my little mate. Lennox and I have had a fight. He's in the um, in the van watching a movie. Doesn't want dinner. What do you reckon? How do you rate yourself on this one? Oh, as always, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your earmuffs, mate? Dad, dad, dad. <laughs> you cut it. Whoa. <laughs> oh. cut, cut the wood, Finney. <laughs> Do you want to say goodnight to everyone, Lennox? See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow morning. See you morning. So we started the next day very quietly. Our main GoPro had enough of us and decided it didn't want to listen. Nick started the day widowing on about seeing nannies and made a few awful dad jokes. So in the mornings when you go out to do your adventure and if you stay at the homestead, you've got to sign in and out on a little piece of paper. That's what Lenny's just done. <laughs> Don't forget to sign back in because... It's quite exy. It's like a thousand bucks. Yeah, you have to sign something and be aware that if you don't sign back in and you're not back, they send out the search party <laughs> and it costs. Yes, so be on top of that. So after we signed out, we headed along the Tawala track for a full day of adventuring. Alright, I tagged Nick in. He um, wanted me to go through and record this dirty looking <laughs> crossing. And I shan't be doing that. So he's out there. Let's see if he gets eaten by a shot. Let's see if I can win him. How was that, big fella? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a weapon. See, Maxi screaming again, saying, "Should should this be a good <laughs> well, idea?" You wanted me to be croc, mate. There's no crocs in there. Oh, it could be. First stop for the day was the Arches. It was a 400 metre hike under and over rocks. Very doable with the two boys. They had a ball scrambling over the rocks and checking out the caves. So these are the arches. They were amazing and well worth the hike. We even managed a rock climb with the boys to get this view. Next on our list to see was the Musterers Caves. One of the caves is a tight squeeze, so I went first, followed by the two little fellas, and then Big Mama faced her fears. These caves were used by the early musterers to hide out of the rain in the wet season and some of them even had rock art. On the way to Nanny's Retreat Road now, the cool little water crossing as you come through, and then there's like this little rock garden. I mind landing Finney in the background. <laughs> and a pretty cool little full drive section. And there looks like a few people here. We had lunch and geared up for the 20 minute walk to our absolute favorite water hole at Lorella Springs. And yes, Elena did vomit because she swallowed another fly. <laughs> this place is like a little gorge in a sense, where you can float down the centre to discover a hidden cave on the other side. You can see why this place was our favourite, and we had it all to ourselves.
On the way back home, we found this little four-wheel drive section, where I'm pretty sure Elenya said, We don't need to be doing this, Nick. And Nick said, Nah, she'll be right. It's only up to me waist, Elenya. Just guide me right here. Nick eventually got Maxi down, and I think Nick said, well that was a piece of piss. We got back to camp, made a cake in the camp oven, watched the fire, and then went to bed after a long day out exploring. So we've swapped over the GoPro that had the audio problems, and this morning, this is our third um, day here, we're just going to do a few jobs in this morning. Lenny's done the washing out here and I've put some fuel in the car and got to do some water runs and stuff. And then I think we're gonna head out maybe for a kayak ride and then back to the hot spring that's near the homestead, um, which is really nice. So that's us for today, I think. So my job for the morning, the water run. So we're gonna water tank under Maxi and we'll just drive because we're a bit away from the water where we've set up with the caravan. So we'll just drive this, put it in the caravan. I'll show you how we do that. But um, a lot of out here is bore water. And um, if you're not familiar with bore water, sometimes it's got really bad stink. Sometimes it's got a bit of a taste. But a lot of the times up around this area, we found it's very nice to drink. Um, and that's pretty well nearly your only option to drink out here, unless it's bottled water. So um, yeah, well I'll fill this up and then go put it in the caravan. So this is how we get it from the car to the van. There's a water tap here on the car. We fill this, this drum up and then we walk it over to our crab pot. Pour the water in and then we keep going down and follow this whole siphons down into the caravan. Pretty primitive way of doing it but it works, works for now. In our new van that we got coming uh, we have sorted out a very easy way to do it, but um, you have to wait for that. So, Nick wants to drive today, and I wonder why. No, because he hates doing the gates. Is that true? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> We drove out to where the canoes were on the billabong, however, there was a lineup, so we decided to head back to the hot pools near the homestead. You hold on, what happens when you let go? <laughs> <He's lying. laughs> what a spot, eh? <laughs> Deviled sausages tonight. Woo. Another sticker to add to the collection. Yep. So we put our stickers, the places that we enjoy, if we put stickers or magnets everywhere we go, we wouldn't have room. So we just pick a few that we really enjoy and yeah, it makes it onto our fridge. That's the end of this episode, I reckon. Yeah. Um, now we didn't do all of Lorella. We, um, it's huge. Yeah, it's like a million acres. So we did the stuff that was water in it because we're late in the season and our plan was to come back here um, in the build up or the runoff or something like that to get out to the um, camps right out near the ocean, do a bit of fishing and all that. Yeah, um, no one's catching fish unfortunately. Yeah. So we didn't bother making that yeah. trip. Because it's 80 k's out and apparently it's pretty rough. Anyway, yep. we'll, we've left it for another go, another go, another golf run. Yeah. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah. Anyway, like and subscribe and follow us on our adventures. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. All right. 
So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Five things you need to know about Lorella Springs. First one is pricing. $30 a night per adult for unpowered sites. Everything's unpowered and kids are charged at how old they are per night. And if you stay longer, it is it does get cheaper as you go. Number two is the facilities. So they have donkey showers fueled by firewood. So you've got to put a bit of firewood under the donkey, I guess, and um, wait for it to heat up. Flushing toilets, drinkable ball water, astronom bar, a large camping area where you can choose wherever you like to camp. And they actually do have fuel and there is a bit of a store, but not too much and it is quite expensive. The road in and out. The outback roads, they're corrugated. They're not going to be flat, easy driving. Um, it is a wilderness park. So go knowing that, you won't get let down or disappointed. All right, food and drink. Food, it's pretty expensive um, for what you're getting, but again, you're paying for a luxury in a pretty harsh place. You're in the outback, you're a million miles from anywhere, so it costs, it's expensive to get stuff there. Best time of year to go is that early, early in the dry season where all your waterfalls and all that are still running from the rainwater. Otherwise, you just have the spring fed ones there. Um, yeah, so I reckon early in the season. If you have enjoyed this episode, and want to see more then be sure to hit that red subscribe button press the like button and tell us your feedback in the comments if you want to go that step further and get the inside scoop join our patreon family we'll put that link in the description below thanks for watching guys